We've been wanting to pick up a compressor powered cooler for quite some time now. These things are super versatile. We can use it in our sailboat. We can also use it with our RV when we're traveling. These things are really awesome. They run on 12 to 24 volts DC. So you can either use it as a freezer or a refrigerator. A lot of cool features with this. So we're gonna go ahead and just unbox it and check it out. So this particular cooler, it has a 37 quart capacity and it, uh, like I said, 12 volt or 24 volt DC. This is made by a company called Set Power, and this model is actually called the TC35. It was well packaged. Some styrofoam in there, it's wrapped in plastic. Pretty lightweight. So the nice thing about these, obviously, there's no need to put ice in them. This opens horizontally here. Good quality. We got our power cord. This also comes with some wheels. So we got a carry strap. Another strap. And a couple of wheels you can mount on here. Or these could mount right there. So if this is something you would need, Perfect, and there's even a bottle opener built into the side. Well, let's plug it in, power it on, and see how fast it gets cold. What is that, about a eight foot power cord it comes with? Let's plug it into our truck. Let's power her on. All right, so I guess we could set our temperature. So this goes all the way down to negative four Fahrenheit. Oop, I hear it spooling up now. It's 57 now. It shows your battery voltage. So pretty self-explanatory. Let's put some beer in there and see what uh, how it works out. I like my beer nice and cold, so about 37 degrees. All right, I'm gonna put some beers in here and we'll come back in, uh, in just a bit and see how they're doing. Oh, that has a nice little lock on there. All right, so when this closes, oh, there is a rubber gasket around here, all the way around. So when this closes, Oh yeah, you hear that? It just kind of snaps into place. All right, we'll give it a little bit of time. We're gonna come back to this. I'm very surprised this is ultra quiet. And I'm really stoked that we don't have to buy ice anymore when we're going out on the sailboat. What we really wanted to do was install a cold plate, but that was over a thousand bucks and including labor to install it. This is only like 200 bucks and it can run off your solar and everything. All right guys, it's been 20 minutes since we plugged this thing in. The display right now is reading 33 degrees. So let's go ahead and open it up and see how cold it is. Wow. Yeah, the walls of the cooler are very cold. My beers are starting to get nice and cold in here too. It's definitely down to temperature. I don't hear the compressor running anymore. So I don't think it would take it long if you had your cold beers, cold food, whatever you wanted to throw in here. You could just throw that in there and turn it on and it's just gonna maintain for you. This is great for camping because if you need extra space, as you know, a lot of these uh, RV refrigerators are pretty small. So this is a, a great addition that you can keep in your tow vehicle or hook up to your solar and uh, just find a place for it. All right guys, I've been using this new set power cooler for about a week now. 
uh, the entire time I've used it as a freezer. And uh, this thing is awesome. It is so quiet. It doesn't keep me up at night. You can hold a lot of stuff. So right now I got two whole young chickens in here. Hear that? They're frozen solid. I got some top sirloin. Plus, I got 10 pounds of chicken wings. I love to grill these, but anyway, there was space for, I mean, I could probably fit another two or three chickens in here, some steaks, or whatever else you want to freeze. This thing works amazing for, for what it is, so. So the whole time I've kept this cooler set at about five degrees, even though it'll go down to negative four, that seems to be a pretty happy medium where everything is frozen solid and the compressor doesn't like to run a lot. At first, I set it all the way down to the coldest setting and it does turn on and run a little bit more, but at just a slightly higher temperature, I think it works absolutely perfect. It doesn't run very often. All right, so one of the other features I wanna show you guys is the lid. The power comes in on one side with all the controls on one side here. So if you needed to have the lid on the opposite direction, this simply unhooks. You can pull that out. And this comes out. That comes out. And this can actually go in the other side here. I really don't like keeping it here in the dinette, but right now it's the only spare 12 volt outlet I have. I am gonna install a new 12 volt outlet over on the floor, right where this uh, cooler tucks in nice and neat. So I plan on running a 12 volt power socket somewhere in this neighborhood right here. That way I can keep this thing powered on all the time uh, when we're out on the road and it's uh, not in the way. Now one more thing I wanna add is our trailer is powered by our truck when we're towing it. So we don't have to worry about running down our RV battery while we're towing. So this connector keeps everything running 14 volts while we're in tow. So I definitely rate this a top purchase or a, a must have. I'm gonna take it to the sailboat and we're gonna try it out there using it as a fridge just to keep uh, our food and our beer cold while we're out sailing. It's, it's really not that heavy. Oh, wow, that was tough. No, that's, that's not good. No? Yeah, it's gotta go here, or just up here on the trunk. Oh, We're here on the sailboat and we're gonna give our cooler a test. We bought a second cable for use in the boat here. We plan on eventually just hardwiring this in somehow, but uh, for today's test, we're gonna plug into our cigarette lighter and uh, give her a shot. There we go, she's got power. What temperature do we want to set? Oops, not negative two. We'll crank her down to like, how about like, how about we set it to 34? We'll have some ice cold drinks. I'm starting to get thirsty, so let's load this stuff in here so I can uh, quench my thirst. Put up our Cokes. And the most important part is the beer. So what do you think? I think it fits pretty well right here on the on the settee. I'm sure we could find a way to secure it so that it can't flip off the side here. So we have 300 watts of solar uh, run through a 20 amp charge controller onto four golf cart deep cycle batteries. And uh, that should be plenty to run this uh, cooler overnight and then some and have plenty of reserve. Oh yeah, this is like hot. 
Yeah, because that freaking connection there is horrible. So our battery bank is uh, getting pretty old and probably needs to be replaced in the near future. And we just noticed that uh, when the voltage dips below 11 volts DC, the cooler automatically shuts off to save your batteries, which is a pretty cool feature. Also, the cigarette lighter adapter, it's pretty old too, probably needs to be replaced. You know, just regular corrosion in there. Other than that, this thing works uh, amazing. And it's still on and running right now, so you can't even hear it. Oh yeah, the walls are already ice cold. Look at that. This is actually frozen. The water is here. So our ice box in the boat here is huge. I mean, this thing is massive. You could almost, you know, curl up in there, you know? It's as long as my arm all the way down. But, uh, you know, with us, we're just weekend sailing right now, basically. You know, a couple of days here and there. It doesn't make any sense to to spend the money on a on a cold plate system. But, you know, if we decide to sail more often or become a liveaboard, then uh, I think that's probably something we'd invest in. We'd still keep the cooler. It's a great multi-use tool for the RV and the boat, so. Well, it's been less than 10 minutes and it's already down to 46 degrees. You know what that means. It's time for a beer. Oh yeah, nice and chilly. Cheers. Thanks to Set Power for sending us the cooler to check out and review. If you want to get one for yourself, we're going to leave a link in the description below. If you buy it through there, we earn a couple of bucks and it helps us make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.